Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ero and welcome back to a video that may have your mind twisting and turning. And yes, I have a video of 5 things you may not know about Zetsubo no Shima as the map has recently just come out. So before we begin the video, it would be much appreciated if you could please leave a like down below on this video. And with that, with that out of the way, we shall move on. Coming in at our number 5 spot is the creepy tree easter egg that is located in the spawn room. Now this is an easter egg that not many players that are even regular zombie fans actually know about in Zetsubo no Shima and is exactly why I have it in this list. Now in order to activate this small creepy easter egg, you will make your way up to the RK5 at the back of the spawn room and you're going to hold square or X depending on which console you are on and whatever, whenever you're watching this in the future or just recent and you're going to look directly at this route as I do and the result will ultimately give you fears and chills of what the map lies ahead for you in your quest to killing Takio 1.0 and there are a few more around the map that I recently made a video about I will leave that down in the description but that is our number 5 spot for the number 4 spot we have the gas mask now although this piece of equipment may look rather useless to someone who isn't a regular zombie player but it actually has some good uses that you wouldn't have thought out, thought about without looking at this video or any other tutorials on this on YouTube basically. But did you know that it actually can increase your breath hold whilst being underwater? And this can be very useful for when going down to grab that plant part for the KT4 and also when you're watering the upgraded plant with the rainbow water which can be a rather stressful event of tasks when not having juggernaut and stamina on you at the time of attempting this so having the gas mask equipped on you whilst doing this will relieve you of that stress and you will be able to water that plant and get the plant for the kt4 without any worries for my number three spot it is actually something you'd want to use in the later rounds and trust me on this one this is actually what i love about this map and our jason blundell stuck to his word about recreating and reintroducing the original ideas of zombies that we all know and love and that's the ability to earn free perk slots and also higher tier weapons from the plant pods. Now this type of easter egg has been mediocrely crushed by Gobblegum over the past 3 maps in Black Ops 3 and Zetsubo no Shima has finally revived the replayability for original zombie players and the accessibility to gain luck from watering plants with the blue water and the KT4 acid makes this trick that not many of you would know in order to gain all 9 perks on the map as you know there's plant guides all over YouTube but you know just a heads up you are able to get free perk slots just by watering the plants. And at my number 2 spot is actually getting a free power up from the testing cage in lab A. Now we all know that we use this cage to actually trap a spider and take the venom from the spider in order to build the KT4. But what you may not have known is that you can actually acquire the electric shield after completing all 3 challenges on the map for your character. And once you have done all of that sweet stuff, you can just head over onto lab A and you can actually melee this control panel and activate the cage. And what you'll simply want to do is lower it down and you'll notice that the cage is underground beneath steel plates. And you just want to raise it up whenever you feel lucky enough and you may get a good or possibly bad drop depending on what your timing is. In this case I actually got a fire sale which wasn't rather useful to me as I was in the higher rounds and I had all my weapons sorted for the continuing of the next round. And for my number one spot it is actually a basic trick that all you solar players can probably remember for every single game that you play on Zetsubo no Shima and this would be having to locate what side quick revive spawns in before buying that door with the 50-50 chance of it going left or right as it's not actually in the spawn so what you may not know is that the quick revive machine in solo will actually spawn always directly opposite the mystery box in this map so if the mystery box was at the altar location quick revive would spawn towards lab A and the same goes vice versa each and every game you play. This is just something I wanted to point out for you guys in case you're a very anxious player in zombies when playing alone and this little fact will actually help you out. Now that is all for this video. If you guys have any facts that I did not include into this video and would like to share that with me and the rest of the community, then be sure to leave that down below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave me a like down below as your support is greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe by clicking that red button. But for now, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.